My name is Rhonda Pittman. Um, I'm from Los Angeles. I have a company called Magic Plus Logic. It's a, like a design, design strategy, UX, UI, and um, development agency, all like web and apps. Um, what I spoke about today was really about my creative process throughout my life and sort of creating myself and how it keeps unfolding for me and the way that I see intentionality growing and in what I do and if I look back over time how I can see that I really clearly set intentions for myself and the things that I wanted to experience and um, it's about how my business and things in my life have unfolded in a way recently where I can actually look back and see the direct correlation with the things that I've said that I wanted to do and really um, how I'm trying to more and more um, harness the power of, of what I say and, and what I can create in my life and the world around me. And just um, getting everyone in the room or whoever I'm speaking to to see that they really have that same kind of power and that we should, we should do more, bigger, greater things. I don't know, the, the catalyst for that maybe is thinking something would be a certain way when I got there, you know, like maybe it would make me happy. And of course, at this point, I've realized that like having things or being in a certain place isn't going to bring me happiness. But um, I'm also an adventurer. And so I like I wake up in moments and I realize, oh, this isn't really the adventure that I want to be on. Or I went to sleep for a while and I've just been taking the easy way or something like that. And I need to really look at my life and what I want and create it. So I think there's always, I think that everyone does this. You know, it is a journey. And I don't think that anyone ends up in a certain place because they were, I mean, maybe some people do this. I want to be there and I'm going to stay there. Boom, that's it. That's certainly not my spirit. Um, I think that I want to have a really extraordinary life, and I think I've been doing that. And I think that it just keeps changing and shifting what I want or what I want to experience or what I think I can experience. And we learn all the time. So we learn about the world in a different way or that there are new places or new things. And just kind of exploring and wanting to be an adventurer and a risk taker and taking a big breath and taking the leap. Uh, I've been, this is my third time to be uh, a guest for a Catalyst Week. I came last April 2013 and I came in January of this year and now I'm back and it's June. And um, you know, in April there really wasn't much here last year. It's like walking around, kind of being on construction sites and like the talks that were happening were happening in like a, like a, like a trailer, you know, <laughs> and it was cool and it was definitely like very DIY and you could see that something was taking shape. And Zappos was still in Henderson, and um, we did the tour there, and we took buses. And then when I came back in January, like, the container park had opened, and now these restaurants were starting to open, and like things were kind of unfolding and coming alive. And um, you could see that there were people in the community who were really active and like a part of it. People knew each other, and so it felt like a neighborhood. And then being here this time, that has just grown more and more. So there's new shops, there's you know, new faces that I see that are part of the community and talking with some people that I do know. And um, I don't know, it's really cool to see that it, a, a community really is forming here. So I think a grocery store is the next step and I hear that's coming online. So when that happens, wow. I've tried, this is like my third trip in the last two weeks that I've been on and I'm really, so one trip was to Yosemite and I was really, really inspired by nature as I have been my entire life. So I did a lot of hiking, some whitewater rafting, I went on some runs alone in the morning, like on just exploring where I was. And I feel always very, very inspired by that time alone and just being in nature. Um, and then I took another trip and I went to Houston and I, you know, my flight there and my flight back, and then when I was there, I had these really amazing, almost serendipitous experiences with the people I sat next to on the plane. And so I don't think that um, any one person or thing inspires me. I think it's really just keeping myself open to people and that they are really magical and that there's no coincidence that you meet someone and they're there in that moment. And it's like, it's just this thing that like, you get exactly what you need exactly when you need it. And so I, I, I am 
constantly inspired by, by that and how it keeps happening all the time. I, I think my community in LA, like uh, some of my friends, um, uh, like other entrepreneurs and meeting Amanda and uh, what else? I was working actually on a wellness project for about a year, year and a half that was really fantastic. And the first time I came was Wellness Week. And so I met all these like amazing inno innovators and people doing amazing things in like health and wellness. And so that's actually the thing that brought me here. And I keep coming back for all these other different reasons.